What up folks, TV is again, and man, we got some good old Alice Cooper action from Super 7. I haven't bought anything from Super 7 in a while, and I, pff, man, I had to, man. I couldn't, um, couldn't help myself, man. It's Alice Cooper. I, I like him a lot. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest Alice Cooper fan, but I love the, the reference to this album, uh, Billion Dollar Babies. It's a great album. We've got, uh, what songs do we have from that? Uh, no More Mr. Nice Guy, Billion Dollar Babies, um... I'm trying to think, um, gosh, there's some more, uh, I gotta find all the song, the complete song list, but let's see, uh, I can't remember if school's out, I don't think that's on there, Norm Mystic Nice Guy, Billion Dollar Babies, and Generation Landslide, it's a really good song too, which I think I first heard that song on, um, what was it, the Z-Boys documentary, skateboarding documentary, not the... Not the, not the Hollywood movie, but the actual documentary that was narrated by Sean Penn, I think. And um, another good movie to watch if you're interested or want to learn about Alice Cooper is Super Mensch. With, uh, it's a movie about Shep Gordon, his manager, who also managed, I believe, um, he managed Jimi Hendrix. And I think also Janis Joplin, maybe. So, you know, those are all rock and roll icons right there. And Alice Cooper, he's one as well. I think he was um, first signed by Frank Zappa from Bizarre Straight Records. And um, I think the first album was called All the Pretties. And um, I think Frank's whole take on him was, uh, I think he went to go see him play or see the band play. And um, and I guess the whole, everybody in the venue just like left. They ran out because <laughs> I guess the way they sounded. But I guess back then it was crazy, but if you listen to it now, it's just kind of stuff you'd probably be like, oh, this is what my grandparents or my folks listen to or whatever, you know. You know, it is what it is, but um, <laughs> I don't know. It's good rock and roll. It's good stuff. It's good early, early stuff because um, I think, uh, God, listen to that loud, loud ass motorcycle out there. Anyways, that's the price you pay for living in, living in town, living in the city. Anyways, or <laughs> outside the city. Anyways. Man, this is, this is a pretty cool figure. I like him a lot. We all remember uh, Alice Cooper, too, if you've uh, seen... I think it was the first um, Bill and... Not Bill and Ted. It was a uh, Wayne's World movie where he just, like, totally waxes some knowledge at the guys because they think, you know, they're going to see him back behind, uh, you know, in his dressing room after the show, behind, you know, backstage or whatever. And he's just, like, totally smart dude. <laughs> just hilarious. He's not, like... Some crazy drugged out rocker guy and stuff. Because I believe he's sober. I think he had a bout with alcoholism in his younger years. But I think he's sober. Religious man too. So yeah. You just uh, you can't judge a book by its cover. You know. Just because he looks all dark and dank. Um, and plays some interesting rock and roll. With some crazy you know characters and stories to him. Uh, yeah. You can't judge that man. You can't judge that at all. Because yeah. Just, but people do. People judge anyways. But yeah. We got to get this figure open. Check him out. Really cool, man. The artwork on this. I hate to open them up, but we're going to have to do it. That's cool, man. That is just rad. All the art. That's cool. <laughs> they did a really good job with this card. Washington AC. There's a, oh, here's a picture of Alice. But all like Medusa signed right there. That is cool, man. That is really rad. That's cool too. Just a lot of just different things in this bill like you would look at the other regular dollar bill and stuff. And I believe, I guess this album was kind of like commentary on early 70s. Like this is like post-war era, you know, early 70s stuff. So a lot of social stuff going on and it was, the war was just over with, with Vietnam and all that, and that was messed up, and just like, I don't know, 70s were a weird time. I was born on the tail end of it, but um, I don't know, for some for some reason, I feel like, well, there was like a gas crisis, or an oil crisis, a hostage crisis. We had, um, I think, at one point, it was Jimmy Carter was president towards the tail end of that, of the 70s, when I, I think when I was born, 76, but this album came out in 73, but anyways... I need to kind of shut up, and we need to just check this figure out and get him open. And I guess I should do a little tutorial. I usually just cut around the base with my knife. 
like so, because I don't know why a lot of people usually ask, how do you do it with the bubble and all that, or leave it on, it's, it's quite simple. And like I've said a thousand times, I've learned this from an eBay purchase, because somebody did this with the eBay purchase that I bought once. And the bubble stays on, and there you have it. So there you go, there's your figure, accessories and all that. And you can put that back in, whatever. And you can, yeah, basically just, if you want to display them in that, you can just put it back in. So it's like, it's super simple. Super simple. Get that tape off of there. And here he is, folks. He comes with a cool little snake. That's pretty cool. Because I think he was pretty much known for his, um, his stage act. He had like a guillotine and stuff. And he would, there's all kinds of crazy characters and stuff. And just like, uh. Yeah, dude, I'll just, yeah, just like all kinds of crazy stuff. I know my buddy Overlord's seen him live. And Alice Cooper's a different character from, you know, than, you know, he himself, which is, um, man, oh, we, we need more information. And of course, it's one of those names that can kind of, it's not hard to remember, but it's not easy to, it's kind of easy to forget in a weird way. It's a Vincent Damon Fournier. So, yeah, that's that's Alice Cooper's real name right there. So, yeah, you know, the more you know. Anyways, it's a cool snake. The figure. He's rad, man. That's a cool Like, yeah, I just, I don't know. They, Super 7's been coming out with so much stuff. His boots are awesome. That's cool, man. Total crazy S&M vibe. He's got his microphone so he can sing some songs. That's rad, dude. Sing to your other figures. You can have a concert. Little Alice Cooper concert, man. That's cool. Too bad we don't have the Wayne's World figures, man. We could do that whole scene again. That was hilarious, man. This is rad. This is a rad figure, man. I'm stoked. I love his music. He's an awesome dude. I don't know him personally, but from what I've seen in interviews and stuff, and uh, yeah, he's cool, man. Cool dude, cool musician. And anybody who's connected to Frank Zappa also is just freaking cool anyways, too, because I'm a big uh, Frank Zappa fan, for sure. That's rad. And he got bigger than Frank, which is crazy, because I guess Frank never wanted to be huge and big, but, you know, he just wanted to write his compositions, write his music, but he never, Frank, the only hit Frank had, I think, was Valley Girl, and that was it, you know, and... I'd never heard that song when I was a kid. I didn't realize it till you know, till whatever. But Alice Cooper had tons of hits, man. Tons of hits. So, yeah, it's a rad figure, man. Very, very cool. Awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. Well, you know, head on down to Super 7. Don't tell them T-Biz sent you because they probably don't know or care. But <laughs> it's not that big a deal. I, um, I haven't been picking up so much stuff from them. I want to pick up the Super 7... Uh, was it the Transformers Ultimates uh, Series 1 that just came out? But I don't have money for it. Um, they put out some new Transformers reactions. They put out the Social Distortion Skeleton with the Martini, their mascot. They put out a lot of cool stuff. But you can't always afford it, man. It's like they... I remember they used to just put out a little bit at a time here and there. And now they're just like every week just constantly pumping out something. You know, they got a Bizarre Face Ultimate that's coming out, which is cool too. And uh, just so much stuff. It's like, God dang. But the good thing about it is, if you can't afford it now, you can wait later. You can get it, like, from Big Bad Toy Store or just a lot of other stores. There's tons of uh, other outlets that are, you know, pimping um, Super 7 stuff on Instagram and online. So, yeah, like, when I got those, um, was it the... Uh, Lost Boys figures. I didn't even get them from Super 7. I got them quicker from uh, MoviePosters.com. So there you go. Shout out to my brother, uh, Toy Nuts. He was the one that hit me up to that. But anyways, that's look at old Alice Cooper. He's a rad figure. I like him, man. And now you can have some good old Alice Cooper to hang out and jam with you, man. That's awesome. All right. Well, you guys have a good one. All right. Laters.